What's up guys and girls, B2, I wanted to show you a game that I've been playing for a little bit called Enlisted. Uh, really big fan of the game, it, is, uh, it's, it checks off a lot of the boxes that I enjoy in games, not all of them though. So uh, the first element is that you uh, can run squads, which is pretty cool, right? You, you enter and you can build your squad, you can, uh, you can actually click on it and then manage the soldiers in it, right? So these are the soldiers in my current squad that are on my um, 303rd Infantry Regiment. The game names them, but you can see it says 4 of 6. So if I hit manage soldiers, I have some free spots. I can pull this guy into the crew. Um, I can have three troopers, one mortarman, and one radio guy. The mortarman does a standing mortar as his second weapon. You press the two key and, and left click and it drops a mortar in a tube and shoots it off of your elevation in meters on where you want it to land, right? So if I look, I don't have any more troopers to put into the squad to, to fill it, and, I, and I'll explain why. It's not from a lack of soldiers. Um, the game has an element of an academy, and you can shoot these guys into the academy and train them uh, based on, you know, you can see if they're in a squad that you can't upgrade. Um, you can go to the upgrades and upgrade that squad. Uh, you earn upgrades through combat, so the better you do, the more upgrades you earn. It's really cool because you put three ones in and one two pops out. Um, the, like the ones, they're pretty... Uh, they're pretty special, the ones, right? So, so they struggle in combat. They usually get killed before they add to your kill count. That's right. Your squad can add to your kill count, which is cool. So if I put old Arnold Lap here in with a four-star, um, he is going to get me some kills depending on where I position myself. So the squads aren't super intelligent. They'll follow you into some bad terrain. They'll actually give away your situation, like your, you know, where you're at, you're propped up waiting to shoot somebody, and you got four dudes just hanging around you, right? It's like a beacon, like, here I am, shoot at me. So you got to be careful where you direct your squad to and what you do. Um, but the academy is pretty cool because you can level them up, right? So back on the soldier screen, it's telling me that I have an upgrade here. If I click on him, I can actually load a perk in, right? So the game will tell you that you have have some upgrades it'll tell you the squad and it'll tell you the trooper you uh, select new troop and I can actually have him jump higher have 100% more stamina or regen health out of combat which I really like for these guys because if they take a bullet they don't die they can then run around and heal while you know somebody's not shooting at them right so so pretty cool if I come into this squad it's telling me now that I need to manage the active soldiers I need to put a soldier in so because I don't have one I can go into now into logistics I can go into troop reinforcements and I can actually go buy a trooper. Um, once you get higher level, I can buy a troop or two. Um, I don't really like to buy these. Um, you can get higher level troopers in a random. So because the randoms are so expense, inexpensive, you can see the bronzes here versus the silvers. And I think there's some golds you know, later on in there um, for some special gear, but I can go to random and purchase it. I'm only going to use one, and I got a level one uh, trooper, right? But let's go ahead and run a few of them, and I'll show you the RNG for it. Um, here's a level two trooper, right? So now I can put a level two in. Um, it'll get you, like, assault guys, bombers, like, all kinds of stuff. Here's a tank guy, um, which I think I actually need to raise some skills on tanks. Here's another tank guy, which is good. I can put those in the academy, uh, level them up. Here's a, um, this guy's cool, he's a flame trooper. So he runs around with his off weapon is a flamethrower. So his main weapon, you're out shooting, 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 and then bang, all of a sudden you've got this off guy here. I, I dig these guys. Um, there's certain maps that they're better on, like um, uh, inside of the game. And I'm gonna load a game and kind of maybe show you a little gameplay on there, but, uh, but it's pretty cool. So now the mortarman guy, I can go and manage the soldier. And now I have these troopers that I got, I can fill my squad right so he's a two star so he needs to get in and get some experience and basically level up and then once he's leveled all the way on the two now i can um shuttle him into the uh, academy with two other level twos and make a, a level three right and again each star they earn they get better they can carry more gear um, and i'm going to show you that too so so i want to show you all this before the gameplay because this is the part that's tougher to learn the gameplay is simple uh, it's an FPS first person shooter. You're gonna run around and you're gonna shoot people that are shooting you It's it's a very simple concept right now. Um, I need to put another guy here We got two troopers boom. We're gonna put that guy in there good to go So so show you how the the squads are managed um there's a bigger play here, which is actually adding and taking away squads. As you level up, you get all these cool upgraded squads over here. These are kind of the old ones. This is a, a level one 
um, you know, kind of an early game, you know, uh, this one right here is like your early game guy. But I'll tell you, um, if you get them up, there's also uh, another element, which in uh, is this upgrades, right? So in the upgrades, if I come down here and I look at the workshop, you can actually upgrade. So if I go to my mortar guy and I go to my upgrades, that doesn't have an upgrade. Let's go to my sniper guy. So um, the sniper group I've had forever, they're, they're really high level guys. Um, I love hitting the rooftops and sniping, but you can come into here and upgrade, right? So if you come in here and I click on that, when it reduces um, the modification cost and stacks with similar bonuses, right? So you can come in here into this high level four gun and, and begin to, you know, it's a level four and you can begin to unlock how to modify it. Now, if I go into this uh, squad, let's go back into the soldier view and I come into the snipers and I load this, then I can go into weaponry and basically I can put a med kit on this guy um, here, if you have extra kits and things, you can add them to other soldiers. This is the part I say playing with your Barbies. So um, you want to get in here. You can have explosive packs. These are good to throw under tanks or on top of tanks. You can blow the turret stack and kill the tank in a one shot. Or if you get it, if you throw it just right under a tank, you can blow it up from underneath as well. But side to side, you could probably rip a track off, but, but not that great. Anyway, um, so I wanted to show you this because if I go into this gun here and I go to upgrade, it costs me a 100 upgraded parts to upgrade this right because it's a level three but i can get it to a level four but if i hit upgrade it's going to tell me not enough spare parts okay no problem so i go back in i go to logistics i go to um um uh, this weapons delivery and if i go into uh, rifles then it can tell me that i can come in here and buy parts here right so it's uh i can go in here and buy the gun basically uh, and purchase this particular weapon and it will it will have a role to it to to give you uh, um, parts for that particular weapon right but um, I also could have a grenade launcher which is really cool that's one of your things you get three grenades to pump out um, and, it, and it's kind of neat the way it throws them out on the field right so so you can actually go into here um, you can look for um, spare parts on your tank if you wanted to upgrade like I got the PZ4E if I come back in here now and I purchase this upgrade it's going to tell me that I, I purchased the P, PZ4E parts, right? So if I go to my soldiers, go to my tank squad, click on my PZ4E, and I upgrade, um, it's going to say you can increase permissible level of equipment upgrades through the system upgrades, right? So, so you'll want to go through um, and then level up this tank basically on here, but... Um, but it's pretty cool and as you get more st um, more stars on here uh, you can see that your whole armor is 50 and 20 20 and a 10 on the bottom um, so you want it if you're facing an enemy you want to be facing it because you're heavily armored and your turret armor on the front is a 30 whereas if you get on the side or the back you're going to get you're going to get tore up by another tank right so so kind of cool um, you can go through engineers you can build spawn points put up barbed wire put sandbags up really cool stuff on here the tank crew is pretty pretty much just tank here's the flamethrower squad right so i got rainier baron um, and as he levels up he's a three now hoping to get like a four or five star on here um, and then of course this is my assault group and the zb26 is more of an auto it's a really heavy gun that that rides up when you shoot it so you can only burst it three or four shots brr, brr, and then you know refocus and re-aim so it pretty much runs you through the squad and, and that part of it really fun um, gameplay to be honest i'm super stoked about this game uh, it plays really well um, they have a, dump, a bunch of maps look i've been playing this for about a month now it's a free to play game you can purchase in here but it's not hard to earn the upgrades so like i have the top of the line um bomber and it throws out a 250 um, um kg bomb out there it's like a 500 pound bomb uh, it destroys stuff on the battlefield it has a slow turn it's not a fast plane but you know i can get about probably 20 round trips in a game and uh and i've killed up to like 19 people with one bomb right so you get near a spawn point you get extra points for killing them on the objective very very cool this is actually gold so you can buy gold in the game but i can tell you right now this is all free gold on here um it, it's uh it's not a hard game to to get in level you just gotta pay your dues you gotta you gotta start and you're gonna have a really crappy character for a couple of days um uh, but you're gonna unlock new squads unlock new abilities uh, this is your order for weaponry so you can keep track of it i have one silver 204 bronze and zero gold um i got orders for troops so i can go in and order more troops uh this is for the weaponry this is for the troops and then the soldier level up order i can actually use these which you get for progressing in the campaign so if i 
look on, on the campaign side, on the battle pass, like I've hit level 44 on here. You can buy the next one, but again, it's not hard to level it. Don't spend your, your gold on this. Just level them up through the normal campaign. And then I think this goes all the way to 60, right? So I'm um, uh, 43 of 60 on the upgrades. And then look, you're going to get weaponry and troops and all the kinds of parts and just cool stuff. So, so don't spend gold on these upgrades. Um, and then I got an order for a battle summer reward thing. So I guess I could come down here and get the German officer sword, right? I don't know if that's like, uh, I guess he could pull that out and use that in combat. I know you could pull out an ax too. I bought an ax in one of the things. So on logistics, when you come into, um, uh, some of the weaponry and spare parts you can dig through here. They have assault like the MP8. They've got a shotgun that I'm unlocking here at level 26. Uh, which would be pretty cool. So, all right, so enough of that. They also have, which I thought was cool, is this right here is your campaign. You can swap your campaign. You can go from Moscow, right? So even though I'm level 23 in Moscow, I'd be level one in the invasion of Normandy. I'd be level one in the Battle of Berlin. And they're all different soldiers and all different characters, right? So if I go to Normandy, now you can see on this left, I got all these weird guys and new things to play with and everything. I can put new soldiers in the squads. Um, so, so it's pretty cool. Like you can, you can see a different angle on stuff and there's different maps in the invasion of Normandy. I'm level three on that one. Uh, but I'm 22 here in battle of Moscow. I'd like to finish this off, um, and, and, and run through this campaign, right? So if I'm 23, I've got, um, these are all the awards you can get during the battles, right? So, um, you can get battle passes. I can get the reward for 20. I can get the reward for destroyer. And uh, silver order for weaponry, like they they really do give you a ton of stuff um, on your achievements, and you can unlock stuff. So so gameplay, like if you're ready to play, you've you've done all your work on your Barbies, and you hit start, um, it's going to load up a queue. This is usually pops pretty fast any time per day. It's just grouping people. They don't need true 40 people to play a battle because you can have five people play, and each squad can have like you know six to ten players in it so five people can look like 50 on the battlefield because you got all these squad guys running around and they will shoot you right typically most players are going to be able to shoot them first but like they lock on you and they wait a few seconds and then they shoot you to kind of give you a little bit of time to find them on the map but uh, if you don't keep moving they will shoot you and i'll show you what you mean in game right so usually somewhere around 40 to 45 seconds the game will pop um very rarely will it put you in an existing game it will um, most times put you, yeah, see, so here we go. It's actually circling at 44 seconds. Game found, and it's going to load it up. And I'll just show you briefly a couple of, like, minutes of the gameplay, and I'll explain what mode it's in. So uh, so this one's a Conquest game. This one's going to have map points A, B, and C, and, the you know, that idea is you hold those points long enough. Uh, this happens to be the factory. It's set in the middle of the map. So what I like to do is I like to start with my mortar team on here. It's pretty handy. Um, and then I try to get a little closer, right? So if I can get over to C right here, I'll bring out the mortar, and then you click the button and you scroll your mouse forward and see how it loads that up to 220 because we're going to drop some mortars oh we were going to drop some mortars. it does that the game glitches a little bit and the guy will stop aiming but we're just going to go oh come on man if I, i'm going to miss the guys on the point there let's just get a couple of shots out and oh b come on i'm not sure why it does that but We did eliminate guys on there. Now we're getting some firing off. We're going to roll back a couple of meters and keep firing them off. You can see them landing over there. It's throwing up the dust. Did we get us some more? Come on, give me another one. Um, and then I'll just, I'll run out there. So I think we only got a couple, but we definitely hit them off of the objective though. We got A and, and B. So uh, everybody on the map is going to be flooding to C on here. You can see it's pretty good. If you hit Y, you go to another member of your squad. And anybody with the green top is, is actually in your squad. Little tank rolling out. So if we go and we go to our radio guy, this is kind of cool. I can hit seven and then drop um, mortars on here. So let's just drop them. Let's drop them right past B. And then uh, I'll be able to show you. It's going to land over here. So the first shot is going to come in about eight seconds. And you'll hear it drop. I'm actually going to get shot because I'm running around right in the open. But see, so you hear it. And then it's going to do another short one. And then it's going to start raining on them. Ready? You hear it? Now it's going to go boom, 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 boom. But it, it would have flashed on the screen. Yeah, see, we got some hits. See the, the red and the, and the, and the white bars. 
That means that whoever's out here, you are getting hits on people. So, oh, laying down. You laying down, person. Get off your back. But now he's over there. I know where he's at. Let's do this. Let's go to knife. Get off the ground, boy. Get off the ground, boy. Oh, my God. So you can hit T. Oh, yeah, he's laying on the on the wood as well. You can hit T and use your med kit too, but uh, we're gonna just swap to another guy in the squad. We still have three or four squad guys left, and we pretty much pushed him out. Bang! Oh, another guy on the outside, man. They love that, don't they? Oh, why you why you treat me so bad? So I'll try to med pack. I'm probably gonna get shot before I can get my med pack done. In a in a building full of people like this running around, it's hard to get a. Well, they're gonna let me heal up. Let's go to knife. Oh. That dude sat there waiting for me to heal. That's a gully. Anyway, you guys get the, the hint, and uh, the map comes up on here. These are the spawn points you can choose from. Um, usually an engineer, like if I brought my engineer, well, we're going to go sniper. So a little slow to pick it up. Now, we're we're doing good. We have A and C, so we've got the two that are in the line. B is kind of off the middle. Um, so what you want to do is you want to find a... Um, you want to find a pretty cool place to hang out where you're not going to get seen in this cover behind some buildings. Usually up on this building over here is a pretty good place. I'm going to try to swing around that way. You want to try to stay in the woods out of the view of everybody. So anybody in your scope can pretty much shoot you. So, you know, let's let's get around the building here. We're taking B, so I think the other guys are going to be out. Ooh, look at that bomb. On the You can see on the feet on the top right. Oh, ooh, someone's shooting across the field there. Let's turn around and try to get some targets. We'll, we'll give it a mini crouch. Let's we'll see if we can find somebody through here. Oh, there we go. Oh, 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 stay stay with me. Oh, no. Oh, he knows I'm shooting at him now. Oh, got him anyway. <laughs> got him. Oh, wrong button. There we go. Sorry about that. Fat finger the controller. Oh, oh, oh. So I'm trying to, this guy has some pretty good hops. So let's see if we can get on this building. We did. I like to hide on this corner over here. Dirty camper. Put up my tent. And then I look for people bobbing heads over there. So that's my squad. There's nobody on this side. There's nobody in the woods. Let's go ahead and get to the other side. Let's see if we can find anybody coming this way. We don't. don't have anybody. Let's get higher up on the roof. And shot. It usually will show a red outline of who shot you, so that guy's pretty well hidden. Let's see. I don't see anybody in the windows. But see how this guy's running all over there like a madman? He's going to get me shot because people are going to see me. Let's see. Open the windows with F. F for I'm going to get shot in the face, probably. Let's get over here another window. See if we can, usually I can see somebody around out there. Oh, there we go. Got him! <laughs> oh, man, I love sniping so much. It's, it's not very practical, though. You don't get a lot of points unless you kill people in the zones. But, uh, but yeah, I'm a big fan. I'm a big, big fan. Oh, 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 I thought I saw somebody moving. Where we got? Where we got? Where we got? Come on, come on. Somebody be out there. No? Are they all fighting over B? Ooh, I thought somebody was in there. See, I just don't see a lot of people out here, man. Let's try this window. Usually if you shoot into the glass, you don't hit somebody. But yeah, these guys are good, man. My team is not doing bad. They're controlling the points out. I don't see anything out there. Who's shooting? Oh, oh I saw some feet moving right there. Peek me again. Peek me again. Let's try to the two windows. I don't see them. Somebody got them. Oh, oh, let's back up off the window. In the windows, those artillery can hit you. So I'm trying to back up out of those if you see them. Yeah, nothing, man. We are keeping them. Oh, ooh. and you don't want to jump out of the second story just from experience. You're going to take damage. So you just want to make your way to the stairs. I wonder if I can get on this roof on the top of this. That dude, that's the dude. He's between the dormers. Now I got it. Oh, he got me right before. That's all right. Watch this. I'm going to go ahead and hop in a plane and show you guys what a plane is. We're just going to drop a bomb right on top of that guy. So Smirnoff is the guy's name, right? Let's try to drop a bomb on him, ready? So he's on top of B, and we'll just we'll wait to dive it until we get a little closer. Use your uh, wheel mouse to do thrust. You can set your flaps for combat, or for me, I just do uh, I just keep them up all the time. I don't know why, but all right. So Smirnoff is up here on this roof somewhere. He's right over here. Let's see. Can we get him? 
Let's see if that gets him. Smirnov. Oh, we didn't get him. That's okay. He's probably dead already. Let's. Yeah, he's their top guy though. He's their top dude. So I'm gonna line you up for a real bomb run. Um, you just want to hit enter and say uh, marks, please. Um, so when you call for marks, people are gonna mark hard targets on the map. Typically, you'll get some egghead that marks just a random soldier, and you drop a bomb on one person. But really, you press V. Um, on, while you're sighted in on a tank and it will mark it as a tank on there um, So as your guys move around the map You'll want to mark tanks for other people because now your tanks can see them your mortar men can have a distance on them Your planes that are flying. So this is the this is on the bottom right. You'll see that it, I'm out of um, bombs You fly to the the uh, bullets and it will reload two bombs for you So it keeps you from just spamming bombs over and over and over again. All right, so We've got a mark out there. It looks to be where they're... Oh, oh, oh. Is it, what is this? What is this? Is this an enemy plane? It is. We're going to yoke him up a little bit. Eat, eat, these, eat some lead, broski. Oh, oh. He's a slow plane. Where's he going to? Where's he going to? I know he's on fire. He's smoking, so he can't really maneuver as much as I can. But I have a faster plane than him, and so you can see how I overtook him. And now I don't see them, which is dangerous, right? Because because he could be turning on me in the same circle. But let's just go ahead out here and uh, and drop our bomb, right? So uh, you'll notice that A doesn't have any dots on it, but C does. But let's do this. Let's um let's just drop it right out here in these woods and see what we pop, right? So we get lucky. No, A is ours. So. Uh, so we just need some guys to redo it. We'll go reload real quick, drop one more, and then we'll wrap up the video. But again, the game is enlisted. Go um, check it out. You can just go right to the website, do a Google, Google search. It's like a 16 gig download. So, you know, in my old country speed, it's at like 40. Oh, 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 man down, man down. Who's shooting at me? Who's shooting at me? It's that other plane. I know that other plane was floating around somewhere, but... but uh, I just for the sake of showing you guys the bombing runs, I'm, I'm going to go look for him. Let's see if we can turn on him. Or if that was just something on the ground shooting at me. Yeah, I don't see nothing, man. He must still be behind me. That's all right. We've got this game one. You can see the bars at the top, the blue-red bars. The more you kill, the more the bar goes down. Um, and then, of course, if you hold more positions, the two positions has that little red arrow, the left-facing red arrow. And three positions will have... Um, oh, that guy was on me. Do you see him? He was out my left window. I'm gonna go kind of, I'm gonna go kind of in these woods out here because that's their spawn point right past here. So we're just gonna wait for it to go and drop a little bomby bomb on them woods, and let's see what happens. Hey, a triple kill on an objective. So when you look at the objective, that A with the shoot, I'm like, this dude, man, he just ain't gonna give up, is he? I got two planes fighting me, but we already won. So GG. You can't type after the victory, but. Before it, if you catch it, you can tell the boys GG. So anyway, that is Enlisted. Hope you guys enjoyed it, um, and I'll be gaming with you soon. See ya.